I should have been a better father. Oh. You really should have. Yes, my father. son died. See, this father. is a, oh, my son died because I'm a bad father. He wouldn't be going around and getting He's himself. Religious well, what are you talking about? Oh, oh, Gunfight. My son didn't get in a gunfight. So the Scientology security guard made up a few lies about my son that I don't appreciate. The first lie is that he claimed my son died in a gang war. That's false. The second claim is that my son died while in a shootout. That's false. The third claim is he died while committing criminality. That's false. And the fourth claim is that my son died because it was my fault for teaching him said criminality, which again is false. So let's actually look at the facts of the case. Okay, so first off, my son was murdered in June 2021 while he was in the process of moving. He was with his girlfriend moving from Inglewood to Signal Hill in Long Beach. On the way there, he stopped at a friend's house in Watts. When he got out of the car and waited for his friend, three gunmen pulled up, shot at him 40 times, and hit him 17 times. Now, my son was not in a gang, so to claim that this was a gang war is simply a lie. Secondly, my son was not in a shootout. He did not have a gun. Therefore, he did not fire a weapon. This was not a shootout. This was strictly three gunmen shooting at my son while he was with his girlfriend. The LAPD's explanation is that my son was simply an unintended target who was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, with that having been said, many in my family feel that my son was targeted because of my activism. So the claims that this Scientology security guard made against my son are disgusting. So who was my son? Well, let's take a look at the life of my son, Marcellus William Good, and look at how people who knew him felt about him. This is a message I received from one of his friends talking about how they ordered Popeyes to feed homeless on Christmas. This is a message about how he helped a friend grieve when they lost their sister. This is a message from one of his schoolmates who talked about how my son motivated everyone else in everything they did, whether he knew them or not. This is a message from his high school girlfriend who said, to this day, she has never met someone as genuinely sweet and loving as Marcellus. This message from one of his friend's parents who said that in the time that she knew my son, she was amazed at how well-mannered and respectful he was. He was so sweet and always smiling. Lots of messages about his sweetness, his charisma, how funny he was, and this message about how the world didn't deserve somebody like him. I agree. My son represented the best in humanity. He didn't deserve what happened to him. Nor does he deserve to have the Scientologists use him as a tool to try to stop me from holding them accountable. See, there's clear differences between he and the Scientologists. Marcellus was a kind person who gave everything he could to people. One time, I gave him $5 for his lunch money. I looked out the window as he walked to school, but instead he stopped by a homeless person and gave that $5 to them. He did not tell me about it. I knew about it. He did not tell me. I taught him to always do the right thing, especially when no one's looking. Marcellus gave everything to people, and that's the difference between he and the Scientologists. Scientologists take everything from people. So ask yourself, who would use the death of somebody's son as a tool to use against their critic? Is that something that you see a spiritual or religious person often doing? My son was a great kid, and this world is a worse place without him.